I'm in the booth with this thing on me now. Y'all niggas already know what the fuck going on. Babyface AP, I'm Lil Snoop, no one. Whatever the fuck you wanna call me, man. Right? Just know you put a battery on my back. I might put a bullet in your face. Smoking on dead ox, put a hole in the ozone. Push your weight, I still drop off my old phone. I'm too deep in this shit, man, I'm so gone. Hell, I bitch, I wanna keep her clothes on. Oh, my God. Get your mind blown. Got shot, screen shot through an iPhone. I hop on a BJ, and me and my man fucking bitches in the. Yo, what's up, guys? This is gonna be the first video in my How to Edit on DaVinci Resolve series. This video is going to be fairly simple, with not a lot of effects, but what, but what you need to like, kind of lay the foundation of a good highlights video. So what what you want to do is get your clips and your music. So first you want to start off with your clip. Just put that in there, and then put the audio track under it. And then the first thing you want to do is sync up the audio to the clip. So. To see the beat drops right, kind of right there, so you just wanna <coughs> actually time it perfectly. Bullet in your face. Smoking on so right there it hits, and then you wanna adjust the clip. Just put it on top to where you see the pellets hit for the shotgun. So right there. And then if you listen to it, it sounds like this. Just know you put a bat in my bag. I might put a bullet in your face. Smoking on dead eyes, put a hole in the ozone. So that's kind of what we start off with. And uh, let's go a bit just so it doesn't have a big like, black space here. So let's just drag all this back. Okay. And to uh, kind of fade the clip in to make it look nicer, you just want to take this little white dot at the end of the clip and just drag it in as much as you want and it looks like this y'all niggas already know what the yeah, fuck going on like baby face AP I'm real soon no one whatever the fuck you wanna call me right yeah? just know you put a bat in my bag I might put a bullet in your face smoking on dead eyes put a hole in the so that's kinda what it looks like and um make sure you save your project as whatever you can name it test and the second thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be the beat shakes so if you listen closely um there's like a lot of beats in the songs. So. Alright, so what you want to do is go into your effects library, go down into effects, and then just type in ADJ and it should come up, adjustment clip. So you want to drag that just into your timeline. Next what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning and kind of zoom in. And you want to use your arrow keys to go 9 frames ahead. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you just want to drag it down to where the marker is. You can zoom in on it again if you want. Then you want to go into your open effects, search for camera shake, and drag that on top. And then you want to go to the middle of the clip, click on the blue clip, and go to effects. Once you're in effects, you want to basically copy these settings. So first you want to leave motion scale, put speed scale on max, motion blur on max. You want to put this on 0.007. And you want to put this on max as well. And then the rest of it you can leave until you get down here. You want to make this reflect. And then we can do keyframes. So you want to go to the beginning of the blue clip. Put 0.1. Hit the keyframe button. And then go to the end and drag it down to zero. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure to have your playback really smooth. You want to go into playback. Timeline proxy mode and quarter resolution. So then, basically, what you want to do is once you have, once you copy down all these settings, click on the clip, go to color, go to this one, go here, into node sizing. And then, what you want to do is click on this clip right here, hit Alt Y. Once you have Alt Y, click over here on a 0 3, and then change this number to 1. Point Zero four. That'll give kind of like an RGB shake effect. So if you watch it back, it kind of looks like kind of looks like this. It's very small, but you can see it. So basically, on every single beat drop, we're gonna put that. So if we look at the audio track and try to find the beat drops. So there's one right here. So we're just gonna put this right there. Then we're just gonna copy it. Find the next one. This one right here. We're gonna paste. 
one. Right there. Put it, put it there. And this is how it looks. Just know you put a bat in my bag. Might put a bullet in your face. Smoking on dead eyes. Put a hole in the ozone. Put your whip. So basically, for my ozone video, I just did it on all the beat checks throughout the entire song. So there's two more in there we gotta find. No one right, one right here. And one right there. One right here as well. So then what you wanna do is now we got gotta transition to the next clip. So basically we just wanna trim this clip to however long we want it. Usually about one second is good enough between clips. So like once you get the kill, which is right here, about one second is good enough. So I have about two seconds here, but it's fine. So then to get the next clip, we just drag the clip in, and then we want to sync again. So we want to look for a spot where like the beat hits. So we gotta listen to the song. So eventually, for syncing, you'll get better and better. But essentially, what you want to do is just do the same thing we did with this clip when we were syncing. Find the spot in the song that you like, pause it on there, and then just drag the clip around to see where the hit markers are. So it would be right here. Now, if you listen to the clip, it sounds like this. So clearly, you can see the kills on beat. So now what we want is a transition. So for transitions, what you want to do is go into video transitions, search up burn, and you should see the burn away effect. <coughs> you just want to put that between your clips and it looks something like this. So it's a small like tear away burn effect. Now another thing you can do is um, so first you want to mark the kill, be like right here. So just press your clip and hit M, and it should put up a marker down there. So now what you want to do is velocity. For velocity, you just want to click on the clip, hit Control R, and then lock the audio track th for the clip. Now just zoom in and click this and click Add Speed Point. Now we want to go 30 frames ahead, so you can use your arrow keys for that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We want to add another speed point here. And then go back to the original speed point and go back 15 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Make another speed point and go 7 back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then add the final speed point. Now you want to get really close and zoom in. So for the first section, just put in 50 speed. For the second, put in 200. And for the third, put in 50 again. So now your clip will look something like this. Has like a nice velocity to it. Make sure you keep saving your project. And then another thing we're missing here is the pump sound. So for example, in this clip, we had the pump sound. But in this clip, there's no pump sound. So for that, I just have a pretty simple um, pump sound here that I just put in. Um, you can get this off of YouTube. Just look up pump sound and just download it. So what you want to do now is sync it. So just make sure it's on beat. So that looks good, and then it's way too loud, so I'm just going to turn it down a bit. So that looks good. Now I kind of want to add a Y impact to this. So what I'm going to do is go here to this effect. You want to grab small RGB shake and just drag that on. Um, I will have an editing pack coming out soon with all these all the effects I use. and But for now, I'm going to link... Um, the guy who actually made this editing pack in the description. So you want to take that and just put it there, and it'll look something like this. 
So basically, we can just shorten the clip from there. We can also do a pre-shake. Just grab that, put it in front. This is where the marker comes in, which is right between the markers. So it looks something like this. Kind of slowly shake. Now, another thing we can do is continue our beat shakes. So, Control C, put them on every beat. So now what we want to do is get our last clip for the day. Let's use this clip. So we can just put that in. Now make sure you save your project and sync once again. So I think that spot's a good spot to put it. So let's just get it perfectly on time. Right there. Perfect. And now we just want to sync the clip. So just drag it to wherever the kill hits. So right there. And connect the clips and do the same transition transition again. Burn away. Just drag that on. It looks something like this. Looks pretty nice. And we cannot hear the pump sound still, so we're gonna add that again right after we do the beat chicks. One more time. And then, since this is the end of our short tutorial, I'm gonna drag this in. So it'll. And then at the end of the song, I wanna kind of cut it off somewhere. And then drag this part in so it kind of fades out so if you listen to the audio it sounds like this so it kind of fades out so now basically what we want to do is get the pump sound in here again because we can't hear it in this clip so what we're going to do is we are going to put the pump sound like so that's way too delayed we're gonna take it down there and just do that. So that sounds good. Once again, I'm gonna lower the volume because it's way too loud. There we go, it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna do velocity on it velocity on it again so control R on the clip make sure you lock the audio track or the audio will be messed up and then go to the impact which is right there okay add speed point same thing as last time 30 in front 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and add another speed point go back to the first one 15 back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And add speed point, and then one more time, back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then we want to zoom in. Make sure this game audio track is locked. And for the first one, it's 50. Second one, you want to do 200. And for the third one, you want to do 50. And then it'll look something like this. Which looks pretty good. And make sure you save it. And now what we want to do is add a flicker. So a flicker, and we're also going to add. Uh, so let's start off with the flicker actually. So just put that right before the kill, which is right here. Just put that right there. So it'll kind of kind of flicker in and out. And then another thing we want to do is do the uh, maxi overlay thing. 
So drag this on. Make sure to un unlock that track eventually, and just get the middle of the maxi clip and just edit out most of it. Just keep like three seconds of it, and then make sure you unlink it and delete the audio one. So now we just have the purple and pinkish like stars and leaves. So you want to put that right after the kill, and then click on the clip, scroll down to where it says composite mode, click on add, and then it should just go over the entire clip. And then you can have that fade out as well. Drag that in a bit, fade it out. So that's going to be it for the video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.